Yo guys, welcome back to a brand video on the channel. Today, we are going to be going over some ranked gameplay. I'm not going to be playing any rank. Maybe I'll play one game at the end of the video on my mini account. But as you guys can see, we have hit 10,000 ELO. I've been on the grind yesterday. I played a lot with Semantic. He was streaming last night on Twitch. If you guys want to check the VOD out. But yeah, me and Semantic were playing all of last night. And uh, yeah, we went on a crazy win streak. As you see now, we're fourth in the world. I think I'm technically third in the world because Gas has like number one and then... This is a glitch when you hit over 10k elo it just gives the filter out to like the highest trophies and i'm not below sniper or lukey so technically i'm third in the world number one in italy the best italian player to ever play this game here but yeah as you see right now i'm going to show you guys all the games in our battle logs so yeah let's get straight into it so here we are into the first game as i said i was geo queuing semantic and of course we just had the luck of uh, getting some decent randoms we had some tough randoms sometimes but for the most part around randoms weren't too bad and obviously Manti just keeps spamming the brawlers to the randoms all the time here, so they normally end up with a pretty good pick. But sometimes you can't do anything, it's just uh, just how rank goes. But yeah, Duking Semantic makes things a lot easier right now. And as you see, we're on Leon and Lola here, and we're doing good for the most part right now. We've been pushing up. The modifier is going to be the map opens up, and Lola's pretty good. I think Lola's quite underrated for the most part. If you can get like a nice little bell ban in, I think it's going to be a free Lola game pretty much every time here, because you're not going to really pick Amber on this map. And yeah, Bell is pretty much the only thing that counts Lola. So yeah, this worked out pretty well for us. And as you see, we're doing pretty good in getting some control here. Beaming them here. Colt's going to be very, very weak. And yeah, I'm going to be just trying to heal up Semantic as much as possible right now. The heal Lola star power is the star power to go. I know the damage one is used to be good. But I think it's been a very long time since heal wasn't meta. I think heal's so good. It allows you to survive some interactions here, and especially in the modifiers that we have, like this open map. You can just walk up and heal yourself and just go do some crazy plays. And then you have the quick fire modifier where you can just heal yourself as well. I think all of that is pretty, pretty good. But yeah, back onto gameplay here. Mandy hit is super. We're up by a good amount here. And I know you guys want to see the draft as well, but yeah, again, I don't record these games live. Maybe I do record them live next time and commentate over them. Let me know if you guys would like that as well. But yeah, for the most part, I just, uh, yeah, I just literally. Just go over these games here, but yeah, we'll see if I can get a live gameplay uh, by the end of this video here. But let's see, Samantha goes in with the hypercharge as well. And yeah, we're just cooking them here. There's not much they can do. Like, for the most part, the games are pretty straightforward. I think me and Samantha are just a bit too good for these type of lobbies here. Like, there wasn't that many good teams playing. I don't think we played against a single pro team uh, at all when we played. So yeah, for the most part, the games are pretty straightforward. Anyways, on to the next one. Yeah, here we are on to the next game. And yeah, we had loads of rage quits as well. Like, as soon as people just get put in, like, a spawn trap or anything, the other team just ends up rage quitting. And uh, yeah, many people didn't last quite long here. But yeah, we're going to be uh, focusing up here again. We're going to be pushing this uh, Charlie here. We managed to get Charlie down pretty much. They're going to be helping out Semantic Mandy again. This Mandy wasn't too bad. Like, sometimes we get really good randoms where they can just hold their own and we don't need to worry about it. Sometimes we have to pick carry brawlers. And just go crazy here. But yeah, me and Semantic were doing our own thing. This Mandy was completely fine here. I think most of the time, as well, when Semantic streams, the randoms are actually watching the live stream. So yeah, Semantic can just communicate with them like that as well. It's not it's not a bad idea. It's not it's not really a bad idea. But yeah, we're going down here. I tried to help Semantic and I just go down. And now they have the lead, which is not too good here. But again, no worries at all. We have this amazing Mandy on our team. He managed to get the lead back for us. Mandy gets to put in that. I'm going to focus him. And I'm going to be one shot right now. I'm going to be trying to heal up. Mandy missed his super, I think. But it's going to be completely fine here. Smantic's going to sneak up. And I think Smantic pretty much spawn traps this cult the whole game here. Which is going to be very, very funny to see. But yeah, Smantic's going to pop his invis. Now he's going to go invis head. This cult has no idea whatsoever what's happening with him here. He's completely lost here. Smantic going on absolute tear. And I think Smantic just stays up there the whole time pretty much here. So like Smantic pops invis again. You know, Cole gets a few hits off, but again, Spantic's just literally right inside of uh, this Colt here. Again, takes him out, and Mandy finishes the kill, and there you go. So that was a clean rank game. And pretty much every game, we get about plus 20. Sometimes, I think one game we got plus 70. I don't know why. Might have been this game, actually. Might have been this game we got plus 70. But yeah, most of the time we get plus 20, plus 25. So yeah, it was a long grind here. We play, Like I said, we played for four hours. I went from, I think it was 9.5k ELO to 10k in like four hours so yeah that's gonna be quite a lot but yeah, anyways on to the next game here we are on to the next game these games were like towards the end of our push now so yeah we're getting to like the final stretch here we're playing classic on what is this map called rustic arcade here i'm on the collette smanic on the piper here 
I think most of the time we uh, try and let one of us play gem carrier because again, having the gems is what gem grab is all about really. Like you can win both lanes, but at, at the end of the day, if your gem carrier dies, then you will no longer have those gems. So yeah, we managed to get a good little start here and uh, I'm going to be pushing up. This is a very, very free um, Colette game here. So I should be really trying to carry my bet as best as possible. And I love Colette. I think Colette is super, super good. They actually nerfed Colette now. There was like balance changes. Balance changes aren't live yet, but yeah, they're balance changes now and Colette's hypercharge got nerfed. I don't know how much is going to affect Colette here because I still think Colette is pretty good. I think the hypercharge is kind of crazy, but yeah, let's see how that ends up playing out here. But as you see right now, we're doing pretty good. Planted tapping his way, missing the curve. I swear they nerfed the curves as well, by the way. They, like, the curves just don't curve anymore. It's, it's kind of broken, but yeah, well, that's just that's another topic for another day. But as you see right now, we're completely going crazy on this 8-bit. He gets absolutely wrecked here. We go down, though, but it's completely fine. We have enough gems here. Leon's going to go down here, so we're going to be careful. We're going to try and get Semantic the this final gem here. So I'm going to just push my way up again and absolutely wreck this guy. Then we're going to go up, heal, and take care of this 8-bit as well. And there you go. Semantic can pick up the final gem. Don't know why Leon picked that up, but yeah, he did. But we get the final gem here. We are going to be going crazy again. We get the kill onto the thingy. We get the kill onto the other thingy. And then we try and go for the third thingy, and we just die. And... Uh, yeah, it's a pretty clean game, and as I said, most games are straightforward, nothing too crazy, except the last game. I'll show you, I'll show you guys the last game, and I'll show you how crazy that was, but yeah, anyways, on to the next one. Here we are with the next game here, and again, obviously, same comps, same as always. Um, yeah, it's getting a straightforward game here. We don't want to switch lanes or anything, and if we do switch lanes, I think Semantic just spam shots to the side that uh, Leon should go. I think that's like, I think Semantic has like the best way to communicate with randoms here. Like when you're drafting, for example, he will literally just spam pick and suggest, spam suggest you until you pick the right brawler. And normally it works out because it's quite annoying. And I think the randoms are like, fine, you can have this brawler here. And then I think with lanes as well, Semantic just stands still and shoots the lane until the other person goes the lane. So yeah, being quite stubborn, it works out with the randoms. So it's, it's, a, it's a pretty neat strategy. It's a pretty neat strategy. But yeah, we go down here. We get our supers here. And I might hypercharge as well, but I don't really need to use it there. Leon's going to just stay alive right now. Going to get that 8-bit turret down as well. And yeah, this is just, this is a crazy outdraft as well. I think the knowledge pro players have over just randoms with the draft as well. It's just such a big advantage here as well. So he goes down. We're going to try and stay alive here. We have enough gems here. In a second, Leon is going to be just chilling. We're going to pop a hypercharge pretty soon here. So, yeah, I think I'm going to pop it now, right now. There we go. We pop that. We get the kill onto him. We uh, try and get the triple there. I kind of messed up the kill. I could have got an easy little, easy, easy little clip there. But yeah, we managed to win the game here. Semantic shooting me because he knows I am just amazing at Colette here. He just knows that for a fact. But yeah, we managed to win this game. I think we got like plus 20 again. Something like along those lines as well. But yeah, 11 4. Going absolutely crazy, guys. On to the next game. So yeah, this was a pretty big game. So we're getting scared. And scared has pretty much a lot of elo. So yeah, if we won this game... This was Semantic's 10k game, so we had to really focus up here. This was, like, I was one game behind Semantic for 10k, and this was his 10k game. So, yeah, we kind of had to focus up quite a lot here. And uh, we had a we had a Larry first pick on an open map, which kind of scared us. So, Semantic and I just kind of had to focus, like, 10 times more here. Even though Larry's not bad. Like, Larry is still broken in all means. But, like, again, having a throw on an open map is not ideal. But, again, we didn't complain. We made it work. Again, we didn't dodge or anything. Like, none of us dodge. So, it's completely... A legit push here, but I just right now. I mean, Semantic going crazy. I'm on the Bell here. I actually quite like Bell. I, I think ever since Bell got her hypercharge, it's been like one of my favorite brawlers. I think Bell is pretty good for the most part, and it can beat pretty much anything here if you just play it correctly. As you see, I'm absolutely tapping up this Piper here. He's gonna wiggle a little bit, max range them, and you should be fine here. So yeah, we're being pretty much uh, perfectly fine. I'm just, again, max range of the Piper, just staying out of his range here and just trying to weave in and out. Because, yeah, Piper shoots me and then curves me. I'm pretty much dead. The gems are dropped and who knows what happens here. But, yeah, as you see right now, I hit some few shots here. I'm going to try and finish off the Pearl. But, again, the Pearl managed to juke a little bit. But it doesn't matter. We have 10 gems. We just keep the high line and uh, try and hold them back here. Minecart is going to make it a lot easier for us here. Going to be blocking them in. Then I have my Bell Traps as well, which they haven't still trapped because they have not entered our half of the map here. And, uh, yeah, there you go. We get a clean win here. And uh, this is going to be Semantic's final game until he gets 10k. So here we are into the final game for Semantic's 10k. And uh, this was a pretty interesting game. Uh, Semantic's stream actually died in this last game here. So I had to let chat know what the results were after after his uh, PC died. But yeah, as you see right now, 
Uh, this start was a bit more rough, I think. I don't know what this Larry's doing. He's just he's just standing there, just peeking, getting tapped by it. literally everyone on the map here. Don't know what he's doing, but, but yeah, this was not a good start. We had Minecart coming against us here, so yeah, this was really, really not good here. And again, can this stop lagging? Why is it lagging all of a sudden? But yeah, um, yeah this Larry is not doing too good here. He started pushing up the map a little bit as well. I'm going to try and tap my way out. Semantic wins his laner here, I think. He trades it out, actually. He still has a super when he respawns, which is pretty good. But yeah, Larry... Should have his lane now. We have Minecart helping us push up the map here. So, yeah, Larry should be fine. And again, gameplay is lagging. I have no idea why. But, yeah. Gonna be trying to tap up this uh, Charlie here. Again, some more lagging. Honestly, guys, I apologize. I have no idea why this gameplay is lagging here. But, I think we should be fine here. So, yeah, Larry gets the kill there. That's a pretty important kill because Charlie has super there. Gotta be careful with the Charlie super. Especially when I have the gems here. Now Larry just wiggling his way up. Honestly, he wasn't doing too bad. It's, it's quite tough to play Larry on an open map, to be fair. Like, I know you have a bit of range here. And you have a bit of HP. And then, okay, I did not see that. I did not see him jumping to the minecart. But Piper's going to go crazy. Semantic bails me out. He's super locked in. I thought Semantic's going to be screaming and stuff. But he said it was completely fine. Like, you, you just got to lock in and stuff like that. But yeah, again, gameplay is lagging. I don't know why this is happening here. But we will be, we will be fixing that. We will be fixing that here. But yeah, as you see, talent down goes down. They're getting absolutely wrecked here. Other than that scale of the Charlie Super, this game was pretty much straightforward. And uh, yeah, there we go. Spanty got 10k. Then I played the next game and I got my 10k. And then that's how we are, where we are right now. But anyway, I'm going to play a game on mini just so that you guys have some gameplay to watch. Here we are into the game here now. So it's going to be an open map here. We're probably going to ban Angelo. I do not really want to play against Angelo. It's quite broken here. So yeah. And Angelo is like one of my only... Level 11s, which is kind of sad, but yeah, we will, we'll, we'll try and make this work. We'll try and make this work. Okay, so when we're banning Angelo here, Piper is also banned. Spike banned, because because why not? It's an open map. Spike is insane, right? Nope, okay. Charlie banned, that's going to be a lot better. And he's going to be open, which is not ideal, but we do have a Leon, so I can probably go Leon or Jean here. We have a, a lot of options here. But yeah, Nanny looking pretty good for the most part. And I don't really want them to have Nanny, so maybe if my teammates can go Nanny or a Jean, it can be pretty good. Larry's going to be the pick. I mean, as you guys saw in the last game, Larry, again, on an open map, is not too bad as long as you play it correctly here. So, I guess it's not the end of the world. Um, I think a Gene will be good. I think Gene or Nani, again, Brock, like, probably not the Brock here. We're just going to give them Gene and Nani, and we're going to get, like, Wreck. I'll be the player. Okay, he's going to go Leon. That's completely fine, actually. Leon's going to be a good pick. going to be fine with that. Now we can go Gene or Nani last, and if we can't go both, then I think we just go Max. Dude, this guy wants me to go Brock. Why do you want me to go Brock? Like, why? I'm not picking Brock. You... Hmm. And they disconnected. Nice. Oh, star drop. Yeah. Here we are into the game now. Uh, we're going to have center stage. It's going to be a classic modifier, which is always what you love to see here. Let's see what we can ban right now. Probably want to ban like a Sandy. I think Sandy's going to... Oh, we actually have first pick. Is my Sandy level 11? I think it might be. Um, I want to ban here. Maybe i ban like an Amber. I think I'm going to ban Amber here. Amber's going to be quite annoying for the most part. Do I have Sandy level 11? Okay, so we have Angelo open. We have Leon open. I don't have Sandy level 11, which kind of sucks here. But I think I'm going to go Leon. I think Leon's going to be the pick here. I think Leon's going to be pretty good. So we're going to go Leon here. I know they have Charlie, but there's so many cows we can go. We can go like Jesse, we can go like Buster, and Charlie gets countered pretty hard. So, yeah, I'm going to leave that open here. And I'm going to try and carry the Leon. I think Leon's going to be a good carry brawler here. We'll change our star power depending on what they have here. But, yeah, I think Charlie and like Charlie Gale should be pretty good against whatever they have. But, yeah, they have a bow. Bow's not going to be very good. Bow's not that good on this map here, I think. Struggles quite a lot when someone uh, just. Wall peak. It's not both like very bad at wall peaking here, but let's see. You're gonna go Charlie. Okay, so I think a Buster can be really good here. I think Buster can be an amazing pick. So let's try and find Buster and see if our teammates would like to play it. Jesse's also fine. I think Buster can be a lot better, especially when he has it level 11. You might as well go with the Buster here, but yeah, completely up to him. Jesse and Buster both the same. Yeah, I think we got Buster here, which is good. So now we need a bit of range. I think Gale can be pretty nice. Normally, I don't recommend for my teammates, but Jesse's fine as well. Okay, honestly, it's a good comp. It's a very, very good comp here. So we're going to be a little bit careful. We have Jesse and Buster. So this Charlie should struggle quite a lot here for the most part. Uh, this Doug could cook, though. Like, the Doug counts Buster here. So we've got to be a little bit careful. 
Uh, but yeah, let's try and see if we can uh, carry this game here, even though our teammates have the carry brawlers. So I don't think this is that best of a Leon game, but we'll see what we can do here. Uh, we're against one Masters. Don't know who that is. That is not Spen. That could be Spen here, to be honest. But I don't think that's him. But yeah, let's see. Maybe holding down this Charlie lane here. Okay, we're getting tapped up quite a bit. Gotta be careful of the, of the Doug as well. Okay, this Charlie really is tapping me here. Okay, Doug's gonna be just trying to heal them up. I would love for someone else to be on these on this lane here. Okay. We're gonna score right now. Oh, we nearly got the angle there. We nearly got the angle. We literally had it for a split second there. But I think we should be fine here. Get the ball out. Gonna get him out there. Okay, you're gonna just wait a little bit. And honestly, what can you even do there? What can you actually even do there? Like the, the guy literally walked up and wrecked us here. Honestly, I think that, that might might actually be spent. That actually might just be spent. Okay. Okay, we should be fine right now. Okay, I'm gonna walk up now. There we go. And please score. Please walk it in. There we go. Okay, we managed to walk it in. We have Jesse Hypercharge, which is pretty good. Gonna have my invis as well. I don't know if I want to invis on anyone. Okay, I have my hypercharge here, so I can probably invis there actually. Okay, Jesse, I like I like how you place your turret, but like surely dying is not the play there. Okay, we're gonna try and stay alive right now. I'm gonna try and chip them both down here. Plus, it's gonna go aggro. Does he get any value there? He does not. And there's a bow mine. Speed gear saving us once again. Just farm your supers from him. Like, literally, it's it's so easy to kill him here. Okay, there you go. He's gonna go down, which is good. We're close to another hypercharge. I don't know how, but we are close to another hypercharge here. And Buster's going to walk it in. Alright, I didn't even see that, but Buster saw the vision. And he managed to get the goal here. Honestly, we just kill this we just, we just kill this dog next time. He's so easy to kill. Like, I did not realize we have like a crazy amount of DPS here. But yeah, we just need to kill the dog, and it's gonna be a pretty straightforward game here. So yeah, let's try and do that again. Try and do that again here. But let's see. Okay, so we have Charlie again. Kind of scouts. So maybe we can sneak up on him. He places his pets down. Quite unlucky timing there. So Charlie's pushing, that means Doug is pushing. Because that is the most obvious set on interaction. And he survives at 200 HP. That is just so so unlucky. But yeah. That was just very very obvious when the when the when the charlie pushes for the ball the dog is literally gonna walk up it's very very basic stuff there but yeah uh let's just keep scouting here there we go he goes down don't know how we got him there i think we just managed to leave him there now shoot him shoot him please please shoot him okay he goes down okay we're gonna stay up here now Okay, we're gonna get the ball to me. Okay, there we go. All right, nice little pass from the Buster there. And we just gotta finish off this game. I have hypercharge now. I'm gonna pop a hypercharge there, because why not? Okay, we're gonna to kill him. We have the ball now. Need Buster to walk it in. Buster, just like, just, just pop your gadget, please. Like. It's not that hard. He goes down. Ah, it's not very good. Is he gonna score? There's no way he scores, right? Okay, he doesn't score. Right, I was gonna say, if he scores there, do you not pass me the ball when I'm in this? Alright. I'm gonna walk up. He knows where I am. Completely fine. He has no pets here. He can't really do anything against us now. He makes love walking against the mines here. Nice turret, to be honest. That's a pretty good turret here. Okay. We are just gonna pick up the ball and we're gonna try and score. There we go. All right, end of the game there. Managed to get the game in for the for the video here, and let's see how much elo we get. Star player that was not spent, so close enough there. But yeah, let's see. Plus seventy one. That's pretty good. Yeah, I've, I've I'm literally rock bottom on my mini here, but I see a decent amount of elo. We get red drop. Let's see what we get. Absolutely nothing. Another red drop. Absolutely nothing here. And uh, yeah. Well, anyways. That's me wrapping up the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.